so hello. Thought I would just take the big twin out. I've got Stephen behind me and his VFR 1200. Gorgeous thing so it is. It's beautiful. So hang about. I will see you after the intro. I've actually been out for a wee while and I've just turned the cameras on because I was hungry and I don't have much chat when I'm hungry I don't have much chat when I've been eating either but you get more chat from me when I've been eating so I'm still trying to get used to this DCT gearbox there's so many different options that you can have and sometimes I'm finding you're better just being in manual mode when you're doing twisty roads like this So much choice! All I want to do when I'm on this is find a wee road and go and take it. And I don't know Steve, I don't know how Stephen is. I can go over the roughest of roads and I feel nothing on this. I went over a wee bit of a bumpy road and Stephen started to fall back quite a bit. So I'm thinking he was he was avoiding the potholes. And I was trying to find some. <laughs> That's what it does. But yeah, I had it in manual mode earlier and I was jumping up and down the gears, which is great. I think I would actually quite like to get a, a gear selector for my left foot. So I can just up and make it go up and down, just kind of like a quick shifter. I think I'd just like to have that option, so I'll maybe have a look about see what the cost implications are with that but yes I'm loving it have I made the right choice? I, I, I'm undecided yet I love it, I love what it is I think in my head I just have to understand that it's not the CB, you can't throw it about the same way it can handle amazingly well But you can't shift it in the same way as you would a sports bike even though it'll take the corner in the same way so you have to just be prepared to casually go about your business on the back roads and it's great so currently in sport 2 as i said six gear 56 miles an hour i can pop down the gears by just Pressing the wee paddle where my thumb is here on the left and that'll drop drop it down a gear. I can change it to manual mode, which I might do actually. So change it to manual mode. I'm now in fifth and I can drop it to fourth, keep the power on. Drop it to third because we have a big bend coming up. Awesome. I mean you've got a manual mode it is, it's like a super duper quick shifter. Slow down pal. Where will we go? Try to think. Are we going to go? Will we go left or right? Let me think. Let's go. Let's go right. See, I forgot I was in manual mode there. Let's go to Melington. Take this. So this one here. Is that still Melington? So let's go. I think it might be here. The Melington Road. Yeah, let's go this way. Two. 
torque on this is unbelievable, the low down torque. This is nice. Wow! So many wee by roads here. Where do they go? Where do they go? We're out in the sticks now, folks. Oh. I still find myself every so often trying to find a gear selector. Oh, that's us. This is different. Oh, look at that. Look at those trees, man. Look. I bet it's pitch black in there if you were to be in there. Awesome. Awesome. My first adventure. And you've got wee side roads there, where do they go? Look, there's gates, I don't know why you're allowed up there though. You might be. Is it private property? I thought I'd seen a car coming there. Nope. Wow, look at this! How amazing is this? Look at it! Gorgeous! Nice wee bits down there, definitely. Sheep hiding. Get their own wee ditches. Oh. Rams? A few rams. Hello boys!
through the centre of the valley. Was for the farmer herding the sheep. Gorgeous. Just feels so high up. This is where this bike comes into its own. Well, I know a road bike can go on these roads as well, obviously, but you just feel more at ease, I think, when you're on this because it's designed to go over much worse. Just getting used to that lean because it kind of wants to go over further than you're prepared to go. <laughs> it's like it wants to say, Come on, I can go over. Don't be scared. So I'm in manual mode, right, watch this, I'm not going to get down the gears, but it knows it's going to stall, so it'll go down the gears for me. Watch, I'm just going to brake. I'm in third. Oh. It won't go up the gears for me, because I'm in manual mode, but it will go down. This bike will not stall. Lovely bends on this road. Yes. Let's go, wrong side of the road. New 
come look. Now I think this will take me to a mini roundabout, I think. Not sure, but I think it does. And then I can go straight on. I've never been on this road before, but I've been in New Cumnock. And I do remember there is a mini roundabout, and I've always wondered where it goes. And I think if I remember as well, there's a sign that says Dalmellington, which is where we've been. So it has to be. Oh, let's do Cumnock. Let's do Cumnock. This is a good wee road as well. Give way. Nobody there. All good. So yes, I kind of feel like I've just passed my test. You know that way where I'm having to <coughs> really think about what I'm doing. I could just stick it in auto mode, I know that. But auto mode, sometimes, when, especially when you're hitting the twisties, it seems to want to go up and down gears. And I think I'd like to know what gear I'm in. The gear I'm staying in when I get around the bend. And that's no... That's nothing... That's no dissing the DCT. The DCT is awesome. At the end of the day, the whole system doesn't know you're on twisty roads and you're going round bends. Maybe that'll come eventually. So there has to be an element of intervention. DCT is just there to simplify the process. Make it easier. And I think it does that. Oh, see what I mean? I've just actually went the wrong way with the gears. Okay. It's been a great wee night. But not a sat nav in sight. So this is where I say goodbye. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the new Africa twin. Cause I am. I'm loving it. I've actually just realised, I did notice when I was going around some of those bends quite tight that I felt like I was doing something and I think it's the traction I think the traction's kicking in and I'm going to have to tone that down a wee bit Trial and error because it does stun your confidence when you're leaning into a bend quite heavy and you feel something moving So yeah, anyway that's a work in progress. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. So take care. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next one. Lockwood. Out.